starting out on your own after you know coming up under your uncle Charlie Lepresti and your dad and probably your dad before your uncle and yeah no I've kind of grown up around it between my uncle my dad my mom my stepdad everybody so yeah no I think I had a pretty good foundation and uh, I don't think you're ever completely prepared for when it's your name in the program versus somebody else's so just the responsibility level but uh, I think we're starting to get the hang of it now hopefully you know the easy thing to do is to be in well it's not easy but financially, yeah. to be an assistant for somebody like your dad yeah. or your uncle, where they worry about the workers' comp and they worry about the payroll, but yeah. what's it about having your own stable? I don't know, it's a whole lot easier to sign the back of the check than it is the front of the check. So, uh, yeah, it's just an added stress, I guess. But uh, as as you try to keep everything in line, it'll be all right. But yeah, it's just one more thing to worry about. What about this race today? Your um, your your two-year-old here that won at twelve to one. I want to say. Yeah. yeah. He worked okay a few times. Thought maybe he was all right. I, I kind of thought grass with him, just the way he's made and the way he travels a little bit. But uh, I, and I really I, a mile on the grass seemed a whole lot easier. I don't know if he's quite quick enough going three quarters on the dirt. And I was worried about him getting a bunch of kickback in his face. Kind of pitching it after that. But so I figured going a mile on the grass, he's a good horse out of the gate. I thought he'd break well and kind of put himself in a good spot, and uh, we'd get a good idea about where he is. And, uh, he was real professional today. He kind of impressed me a little bit. So what's it like winning a race when you're down as trainer versus when you're working for somebody else, <laughs> even family members? It's almost more of a relief, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I think you stress out so much about everyone. It's just nice when they go over there. If they've been training well and they run well, then you just feel a little bit better about what you're doing. How many horses do you have? I have uh, 12 right now. Oh. And that's what I think a lot of people don't realize how much especially when you don't have a real large stable, how much each race, the difference it can make one way or the other, yeah. and all the effort you put in just getting that horse over to that race. Yeah, no, it makes a big difference when they run well. You know, you, like you said, it, you put a lot into each horse going into each race, and maybe you stress a little more because you don't have three more to run the next day to make up for that one. So, uh, yeah, it's, it feels good when they run well. Yeah. Um, so you're just staying, you're stabled at Keeneland, and just go shit, you just ship yeah, around? Just kinda, ship around where we think we can be competitive so uh, just uh, try to, lucky to have a few racetracks in the area so we'll just kind of uh, bounce around between them and hopefully we can win a couple more.